Well, Longworth Theater is dusting off the cobwebs of a 19th century classic. Longworth's artistic director, Gordon Edelstein, re-examines a doll's house and moves its Scandinavian characters to modern day. The show is currently playing at the Longworth's main stage. And here to talk about it is director of marketing and communications. It's back with Stephen Scarpa. Stephen, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thanks Great for to have me. you. So tell us a little bit about a doll's house, an important mm -hmm. place in theater history. Absolutely. Kind of uh, set it up for us. Absolutely. A doll's house is the story of a young woman named Nora. Who, who lives in the suburbs, and she has ostensibly the perfect life, a good-looking husband, really cute kids, a nice house. The husband's gotten a promotion. She's going to make a lot of money Ooh, now. Hello. But there's a creeping dissatisfaction uh, sort of leaning into her life right now. So what ends up happening is she makes the really bold decision to find herself and leave her husband and kids. And it's a, it was a revolutionary play in its time that's really... Very deep. It is very deep. Very yes, deep. Absolutely. But what's interesting is that the artistic director kind of re-examines a doll's house. I absolutely. mean, how does he go about doing that? What he does is, uh, the play was written in uh, 1879 by a guy named Henrik Ibsen. And it was revolutionary, revolutionary in its time as the first feminist play. It was considered that at the time. So what Gordon has done is he's taken the play out of the 1870s and he's put it in modern day suburbia. Mm -hmm. it, you walk into a house... That is, uh, you know, Nora's home is a home that we've probably had dinner in mm -hmm. and that you meet your friends in. And, and it, he, he's, take, he's removed the barrier of time and really ah. made these people sort of vibrant and alive and And, and, and really relatable, though. And absolutely and something relatable. something that we can all relate absolutely, to. Absolutely, yes. Her, her journey is one of... of self-actualization. Ah, <laughs> look at you, Stephen. It's so yeah, deep and, well, like, scandalous. Absolutely, yes. All mm -hmm. right, so let's talk a little bit about the upcoming shows. I know Longworth is doing a lot of stuff. Next season, can absolutely. you deliver the goods on a yeah, little bit of what we can expect? Yeah, I can give you a few expect? titles. Yeah, we're doing, um, we're going to start the season with a musical called Ella. And <gasps> Ella is uh, a bio play about Ella Fitzgerald. <sighs> and she's going to be a, a wonderful performer named Tina Fabrique. She gets really great reviews doing the show. She uh, will be singing all the famous Ella Fitzgerald songs, and we're really excited about it. Um, then uh, we'll also be doing the uh, uh, one-woman comedy called Shirley Valentine, which is about a woman who wins a trip to Greece. And uh, she goes to Greece, and she sort of finds herself. It's really funny and heartwarming. And uh, the third play that we we're ready to announce now is a play called... Uh, the Train Driver, written by a master playwright named Athel Fugard, and it's a really serious work about uh, race in South Africa. Oh. So our season, our upcoming season, is really going to be exciting. That'll start in September. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I have to know, because I'm a huge Ella fan. Yes. You have no idea. Love her beyond belief. <laughs> yeah. So how is it actually set, though? Because I know you mm -hmm. mentioned earlier that it's going to be, she's going to play it as if it's set in one of her shows, That's right? right. Yeah, she's... You're going to meet her in the context of her performing one of her shows, and she'll describe her life story. She's going to talk about, you know, uh, the things she's gone through and her experiences. All the while, you'll get that wonderful music. Uh, what about comedy series? Oh, comedy series, yes. This summer, we sort of changed it up a little bit. We think of it as beach reading for the theater. Oh. We're doing... Um, uh, two shows this summer. The first one is My Mother's Italian, My Father's Jewish, and I'm Still in Therapy. It's, a, <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's an all-new show uh, written by a gentleman named Steve Solomon. Now, Steve has been back with us uh, two or three times before. and he's Sold out. So sold out. Yeah. Absolutely sold out. And it's a show about his childhood and his wacky family, and, and people really love him. And the other piece we're doing is um, Defending the Caveman, which oh. is a one- man show about the way men and women relate to each other. It's so, a date night kind It's of a date show. night, but all men should absolutely positively see that one, yes, right? Yes, they should. <laughs> <laughs> the new adaptation of Ibsen's A Doll's House is playing at Longworth Theater. Main stage now through May 23rd. The information is on the screen or just come to our website, WTNH.com. Click on Connecticut Style. We'll provide the link.